is KARK4 News at 10. Panhandling concerns. About 20,000 is noticing more and more people begging for money. And now the police chief is speaking up about it. Good evening. Glad to have you with us tonight at 10 o'clock on Victoria Price. KARK4's Tyler Thomason here now to explain how police hope to address this problem, Tyler. Police Chief Mark Kaiser released a lengthy statement on Facebook saying recent panhandling complaints describe the issue as a nuisance or a safety hazard. Kaiser also hints at the idea that some panhandlers in this town might not be what they see. Uh, that's good. We'll, we'll go make up a spot right now. Hard at work inside the Easy Go Corner Store. This spot on Highway 5 in Bryant is one of four that Dusty King manages. Deposits, ordering, inventory. Foot and vehicle traffic remains steady. But nearby, there's one spot that doesn't see much movement. Well, there's one right there. I mean, that's usually where they stand. King points to a panhandler, a site that's become so common here, Bryant's police chief, Mark took to Facebook, addressing numerous complaints. Well, I was surprised to actually see something written about it. Kaiser's post says people have asked for stricter laws. However, a federal court recently ruled panhandling a freedom of speech. Kaiser encourages people to think twice before handing out cash on the street corner. He says his officers know of a man who drives from an hour away to stand on the sidewalk with a dog and ask for money. And unlike most of the online comments, wrote, some are just freeloaders. King keeps an open mind. I just go by my heart, and if I see somebody in need, I, I don't have a problem helping them. A divisive issue where some ask for a red light, and some prefer yellow. But for now, panhandling is getting the green. And during our few hours in town today, we only saw one panhandler out and about. Chief Kaiser encourages people to do research and give to organizations rather than giving to individuals seen on the sidewalks. Back to you. All right, Tyler, good to know. Thanks so much. Meanwhile, a North Little Rock teen landing himself behind bars after leading authorities on a high-speed chase this morning. 19-year-old Kendrick Siza arrested rather in North Little Rock around 5 a.m. this morning. Pulaski County deputies say that they saw a car on Highway 67 matching the description of a stolen vehicle out of Little Rock. The driver refused to pull over, leading officers on a chase for about 20 minutes and then ditching the car at a gas station. Siza now faces charges for fleeing and theft of property. Keep your eyes peeled in Cabot for counterfeit money. Detectives with the Lono County Sheriff's Office say they're working multiple cases of fake bills circulating in the area. They feel real, but they have bright pink markings on both sides and black dashes in one corner. So if you get your hands on what you think is fake money, be sure to give the sheriff's office a call. Arguments next week in the ongoing legal battle over a restrictive anti-abortion law here in Arkansas. The Abortion Inducing Drug Safety Act was passed in 2015, but because of a legal challenge, it has not gone into effect. The law requires doctors who provide abortion pills to hold a contract with a physician who has hospital admitting privileges that effectively bans medically induced abortions here in the state. Earlier this week, the U.S. Supreme Court declined to hear arguments in that case, meaning it'll be up to a lower court to decide whether the law can go into effect. According to Arkansas Online, a hearing is set for next Friday. Thousands across the country today wearing orange to stand in solidarity against gun violence. Gun control advocates not only put on orange to raise awareness, but also to honor both the survivors and those who have lost their lives at the hands of gun violence. In addition to showing support through clothes, community members and leaders across the nation gathered for different events that put safety at the forefront. National Gun Violence Awareness Day is now in its fourth year. Many events happening across Arkansas today to show support as well. Here in Little Rock, the group Moms Demand Action hosted a Wear Orange picnic at Dunbar Gardens. Their message to the state and to the nation, no more. We know 96 Americans are shot and killed every day, and twice that many people are injured by gun violence. And so we're just here to remember them and to pledge to take action. The Arkansas River Bridges lit up orange tonight in solidarity. More than 500 groups nationwide are taking part in this weekend's movement. Because health matters, we know at least one Arkansan's death has now been linked to tainted lettuce. 
According to the CDC, five deaths have been tied to an E. coli outbreak from romaine lettuce that was grown in Arizona. The growing season there ended six weeks ago, and experts say it's unlikely that any tainted lettuce is still in stores or in people's homes just given the short shelf life. At least 13 states have reported illnesses. Hundreds of children are waiting for adoption all across the state, many of them coming together for the 10th annual Disney Extravaganza in Little Rock earlier today. Project Zero put on the event in hopes of bringing together those kids and hopeful adoptive families. The event took place at Emmanuel Baptist Church in Little Rock. I feel like it's my job personally, it's Project Zero's job to give them a voice and to help people hear who they are and to know them and to help find the right families for them. Over 300 children are working with Project Zero to find their forever families. Still to come as we approach the dog days of summer, why animal shelters are on the radar here in central Arkansas. Plus, what Walmart CEO had to say after one of their biggest meetings of the year. That and much more right after the break. We are still tracking some thunderstorm activity here across Arkansas with one severe thunderstorm warning, but could we see more as we carry on through the overnight hours? We'll have those details and a nice Sunday forecast shaping up all those facts right after the break.